Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Melanie Tries Recipes. Today, we are going to be making mom's secret recipe for coleslaw dressing. Um, so we're going to start off with some mayonnaise, and then we're going to put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there, and then some salt and pepper, some sugar, and some mustard, ground mustard. And then we're just going to give it a stir. My mom never wrote this recipe down. She has been making this uh, particular recipe probably uh, since right after I was born. So, yeah, quite a while. I'm not going to give away my age. Um, but anyway, so we're going to stir it up. You, you see me stirring it like that there because um, the ground mustard was a little bit chunky so I'm trying to get the chunks out and because she never wrote down this recipe it's like one of those things where you just gotta mix it up taste it add more ingredients mix it up taste it so that's pretty much all I'm doing here and I'm making a double batch because this is I made this for um for Easter dinner Yeah, so and for a double batch, I think I ended up using about um, about three cups of mayonnaise and then about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar and then about a half a cup to two-thirds of a cup of sugar um, and about two tablespoons of ground mustard approximately. And then salt and pepper to taste, of course. And then you want to make sure you taste it every step of the way. Because you want to get it to tasting the way you're going to like it. And here you see I have officially got it to the perfect point. And yes, my mom is on the other side of the camera and tasting it with me to make sure I get the ratio proper. And then we're just going to mix in some... Um, some pre-made coleslaw mix I didn't quite make enough for two whole packages but I made enough for about a package and a half I could have added more um, but I like mine to have a little extra dressing on it and you see after it gets all mixed up you, you want it to look a little bit on the dry side because then while it's um, refrigerating all the flavors are going to marry and then some of the fluid is going to also come out of the uh, the cabbage and stuff. So there we go. Thanks. 